driver normally on the Winston Cup series of the uh, Citgo Ford. Morgan, welcome once again to the Leo Cup Series. So far, I want to give us a little uh, idea of how so far the 1992 Winston Cup season is going for you. Well, it's sort of excellent at Daytona. And, uh, uh, we've had some pretty good runs, and uh, there's been some tracks that uh, we've had to do some work on uh, the chassis uh, and the engine combinations, but uh, now we're starting to put together. Uh, if I just quit spinning out. <laughs> well, listen, you had some hot laps in that 02 tonight. What do you think of that guy? Things going to be running good. Uh, Dave and, uh, let's see, who else is in front of me? Kenny? They better look out. All right, the driver of the uh, number one, 21, Cisco Ford, ladies and gentlemen, Morgan Shepard. Hey, the next driver we're going to talk to, winner of the Daytona 500, the winner of four, three other races, plus the Winston. Current points leader, Davey Allison. Welcome to the USA Tour, Dave. Thanks, great to be up here. Great to have you up here. Dave, you've had a kind of a funny season. You've let the points in the sack, but you've also uh, heard body a couple of times. Yeah, we worked the body over pretty good. Uh, we've lost three of our best race cars, and the guys at the shop have done a great job of replacing them with, with fantastic cars. You know, they're probably two of the best cars that we've ever had. And we won at Michigan with one of them. It was second race on that car, and we've got another one ready for uh, Pocono this coming kind of weekend. We think we'll be ready with it, too. Well, Robert Yates is sure giving you the power to go out there and do the job against the Chevrolet. Uh, Ford's got to be awfully proud of you. Haviland certainly picked a good team. We wish you luck uh, this weekend. We certainly would like to see you set that record of winning the point, uh, starting the point season off with the lead and ending with the championship. It's never been done, and you've got a shot at doing it. Well, we've got a good shot at it. Uh, our team's working together real good right now. Uh, we, we've had some good luck. We've had a little bit of bad luck along the way, but... The wins always overshadow the bad luck. And we're just going to keep working as hard as we can to try to win this championship this year. Well, on behalf of the management of the USA Speedway and all fans, we wish you luck for the rest of the year and this weekend at NHIS. Thank you. Next up for the Top Dog Invitation, the largest man has won seven pole positions to date with wins at the Atlanta Motor Speedway, the champion Fox Plus 300 in Charlotte, currently a fifth of the points, 135 points out of first place with uh, two wins, six top five, nine top tens, and will drive a Winston Cup car in the Hendricks stable in 1993. Currently the driver of the Baby Ruth Ford, ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Gordon. <laughs> Jeff, welcome back to Lee USA Field. Uh, uh, really good to be back here. Uh, last time I was here, I was going a little bit faster driving the Super Modified. It was really a neat experience. I uh, had a lot of fun. That's uh, the open wheel car is what, what got me where I am right now. And uh, how do you sum up your 1992 uh, season on the Bush circuit so far? Uh, uh, I suppose we want to leave out last Saturday, though, right? Yeah, we don't want to talk about last weekend, but it's been a great season. I mean, what, what can you say? Seven poles and two wins or fifth in the points. And, you know, there's, there's quite a few races left in the season to win the championship. But uh, it's a great series. I'm really glad to be, you know, racing with NASCAR and, and Bush Car National. I'm looking forward to Winston Cup next year, but got this year to, to get through first. Well, best of luck to you the rest of the season, and certainly best of luck to you tonight. You're going to be uh, driving the number 10. You had a chance to warm that car up. How does it feel? Oh, it's a great car. I'd just like to thank all of them back there. They're working their butts off uh, trying to get the car prepared for us. Hopefully we can find something out with the car to get them dialed in for their future later on. But we're going to have some fun and see if we can't win this thing. All right, best of luck to you. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Ford. Next on the grid, back for a second year, had a heck of a good time last year, Kenny Wallace. Well, thank you. I'm uh, happy to be here, you know, I run second here. Morgan, now he was just so too dominant for us last year, but, uh, you know, we're going to have a good time here. Kenny, you're the current leader in the uh, Bush Grand National Points. A win, six top fives, ten top tens, won over 88,000 this year. We're off to a good start, and uh, looking at that championship, after the championship, yeah, I'm talking a little bit ahead of myself here, what's on tap? Well, you know, a lot of people have been asking me that lately. And <laughs> it's kind of a hard question to answer, but, you know, things are looking good for next year. And, uh, you know, if we go Winston Cup, that'll be a good deal. But right now, we're just concentrating on the Bush deal. You're doing a fantastic job. Wish you good luck next, uh, next couple of days up at NHIS and the uh, Budweiser 300. Good luck out here tonight with these guys. Uh, 
maybe we can get you to do a little deal later on or something else. Well, thank you. I want to thank for all the fans being here. Uh, Red puts a good show on. It's nice to see the fans uh, packing the stands. They love it. They love you, Ken. Thanks an awful lot. The lineup for the Top Dog Invitational by Matco Tools continues. And the next guy we're going to talk to started out the 1992 season in the right way with a win right here at Lee USA Speedway. And uh, just a couple of weeks ago, a big win up at the Oxford Plains Speedway and the only three-time winner of the Oxford 250, the driver of the Berlin City Ford. And no strangers to the fans here at Lee USA Speedway, Dynamite Dave Dion. Okay, uh, this is a little bit of a different race for you tonight. Yeah, this is just a good time. Look at this. Uh, tomorrow things get real serious for all of us. So today we're going to come in, we have a lot of fun, we're going to try and beat each other and uh, try and give the fans something to look at. Tell us about that big win up at Oxford a couple of weeks ago. Well, that was a dream come true because, as you know, we had problems. Yeah, this guy's good. <laughs> we uh, had to change a lot of things on the race car and we didn't think we had much of a shot, but uh, my brother Paul and my whole crew uh, you know, I don't give up on them, and they don't give up on me, and uh, they, they put the winning car under me, and all I had to do was get it to the end. Do you think having a win already this year uh, at the USA Speedway gives you an advantage in this race tonight? Well, we've been here in every type of car you can imagine, I think, and uh, if I can figure Jeff's car out, it's a good race car, and I think he'll prove it later on when he gets back in it. Uh, I just want to keep it one piece and, and not really jeopardize the race car, but I, I do want to give these guys a little run if I can. All right, well, best of luck to you. Thank you very much. All right, in the Top Dog Invitational tonight, Dave Dion. And now down to a fellow that we've been waiting to come back here for a long time. Here I am over here. Hey, Rick. Ricky Craven. Back to the shot track in the Hampshire. Welcome back, Rick. Uh, thank you very much. It's really good to be home, and I told the guys earlier, I'd never won the race here and uh, raced here a few times, but uh, this is going to be as good as any if you can get the job done. Okay, Bush Grand National North. Ah, uh, so, tough circuit down there. Very difficult. We're going through a learning curve now, which we expected, but the last uh, three races, we've led uh, two out of the three races, qualified in the top ten, and we're growing together. We're doing a good job, and uh, we worked very hard. It's great to be here tonight because we're, you know, just kind of like rest and relaxation, get away from all the, the uh, hard work, but uh, I want to thank all the people that came out here tonight, thank all the uh, car owners and the, the team members that gave us these cars to use. They got a lot of guts, and... Uh, we're going to do our best. We're not going to tear off. We're going we're gonna to put on a good show. Uh, we know you guys will uh, take it easy on these guys. I want to thank an awful lot, Rick. Good luck this weekend at NHIS. You're leading rookie down in Bush Grand National South. We wish it, we'd like to see you win the championship. The guys from up here, the best of luck in the future. Well, thank you. Like I said, we got some mo momentum going now, and it's, uh, it's really good to be home. Thanks a lot, Rick. And we got one more guy that uh, we got to sneak down here and talk to. Really a driver, just one of the top ranked uh, crew chiefs out in the circuit, one of the most sought after guys, and a uh, kind of a coming home up here, uh, Hudson, New Hampshire native, Stevie Bird. Welcome, Steve. Yeah, it's good to be here, and I, I'm ready for a lot of fun here. I'm going to see what they mean when they scrub wheels or cars loose or pushing, right? We're going to have some fun. Thanks for having us all here, too. Thanks an awful lot, Steve. Happy, happy have a good time out here. One being driven by Ricky Graven is taking off from the start finish line with the A1 on the carriage the Channel One video colors sponsorship here at Lee USA Speedway. Are the 37, of course, is uh, Kenny Wallace. So it's Kenny Wallace in the 37, the 61 of Dave Dion, the 02 of Morgan Shepard, the 10 of Jeff Gordon, the double zero of Davey Allison, the A1 of Ricky Craven. And the 12 will be driven by Stevie Bird. He will be the honorary starter. Matco Tools, the sponsor of tonight's Top Dog Invitational here at Lee USA Speedway. Also want to point out that four of the uh, seven entries out there tonight racing on Wheaton chassis. Popular uh, chassis amongst the pro stock ranks. 
Lights go off on the pace car, indicating we'll go to green flag racing next time by. Kenny Wallace inside of the front row. Dave Dion alongside. And it's Morgan Shepard and Jeff Gordon. Davey Allison and Ricky Craven. And Stevie Bird make up the field for the Top Dog Invitational. The stars of NASCAR 1992. Here they come. Green flag is out there underway. Kenny Wallace goes to the lead from the pole position. Dion up on the outside, races with Morgan Shepard for second. Shepard on the inside, dives into turn three. Right up behind Kenny Wallace. Morgan Shepard goes to second, and now Jeff Gordon on the move. Gordon in the number 10 goes to third. Davey Allison, also underneath Dave Dion. Allison in the double zero, trying to take over that fourth spot. Meanwhile, back up front, it's Kenny Wallace, the leader. Morgan Shepard chasing in there, too. Gordon runs third, and Davey Allison is fourth. Shepard looks to the inside, and no going out of turn two as they race into the third turn. Wallace takes a bump from Shepard. Shepard gets a nose underneath. They get together on the front stretch. Kenny Wallace is in the wall. Morgan Shepard spins into the infield, and the caution flag is out. Caution flag is out. Caution flag is out as Kenny Wallace takes a shot from Morgan Shepard in the turn, and as Wallace tried to gather it back up and hold off Shepard at the same time coming out of the turn, Wallace gets loose, gets into the wall on the front stretch, and Shepard spins into the infield. Caution flag is out. The number 12. Stevie Bird climbs out, and Kenny Wallace climbs in. And meanwhile, Sonny Martell and the crew on the 37, usually driven by Mike Wheaton, go to work to uh, prepare that car for the Pro Stock feature later on. Three laps down out of this 20 lap race. Set for the restart. Jeff Gordon on the pole, Davey Allison outside pole. And it's uh, Ricky Craven and Dave Dion, Morgan Shepard and Kenny Wallace set for the restart with three laps complete. Here they come. Green flag is out. Jeff Gordon in the lead from the pole position. Now Ricky Craven and Davey Allison dice it out for second. Allison, Allison runs second. Craven is third, Dave Dion and Morgan Shepard race for the fourth spot. Jeff Gordon driving Jeff Fagan's car number 10, opening himself up a comfortable lead. As the double zero of Davey Allison runs second. Morgan Shepard and Dave Dion dice it out, exchange a little paint in turn one. And Morgan comes up on top of that one. Jeff Gordon with a comfortable lead. Davey Allison second. Ricky Craven is third. Morgan Shepard, Shepard is up to fourth. Dave Dion is fifth. And Kenny Wallace runs sixth. And they're uh, keeping their distance from each other after the early race skirmish. Seven laps complete. It's eight laps complete this time by. And Jeff Gordon getting real comfortable with the number 10. It's well out in front. Davey Allison is second. Ricky Craven is third. And Morgan Shepard on the move now. One lap left to the caution. And they'll invert the running order. Big lead for Jeff Gordon. And this time by, he'll get the caution flag. That's the first 10 laps of the 20 lap Top Dog Invitational. They'll invert the starting order. And the winner of the first leg of the race, car number 10, Jeff Gordon.
Dave Dion takes Jeff Crowley's number 61 into the uh, infield uh, pit area. Here they come. Green flag is out for the second 10-lap sprint of the top dog. Indication of the stars of NASCAR are underway. Kenny Wallace is back out in front. Ricky Craven now runs second. Jeff Gordon is third. And the old two of Morgan Shepard followed by the double zero of Davey Allison. Wallace with the lead. Morgan, or rather, uh, Jeff Gordon on the move in the number 10. He moves into second. Ricky Craven is third, and Morgan Shepard looks to get right down underneath. Morgan Shepard now on the move in the 0-2. He goes to third underneath Ricky Craven. And Davey Allison would like to follow him through. Jeff Gordon has his sights set on the number 12 of Kenny Wallace. Morgan Shepard right there looking for an opening as well. Jeff Gordon on the back bumper of Kenny Wallace. And Morgan Shepard, they race one, two, three, four, five, off the fourth, turning down the front set. Wallace continues to lead. He had no seat time in that car during the warm-up period. Jeff Gordon gives a knock on the back door and gets a nose down underneath, trying to take the lead away. Here comes Gordon down underneath. Kenny Wallace, he's got the lead. Morgan Shepard will follow him through for a second. Wallace hung up on the outside as Davey Allison drives under, and here comes Ricky Craven. And quickly, from first, to fifth goes Kenny Wallace in the number 12. The new leader is Jeff Gordon. He won the first leg of this. And looks like he's opening himself up a comfortable lead. Morgan Shepard trying to track him down in the 0-2. But Gordon has got himself a comfortable lead. Now Ricky Craven will go to work on Davey Allison as Craven looks to the inside of Allison in the double zero. And Craven goes to third. Allison is fourth, Kenny Wallace is fifth. Two laps to go. Two to go. Roy Matucci will give him a white flag and one lap left this time by. Less than a lap now for Jeff Gordon in the number 10. Down the back stretch, big lead, and he will win it overall. As the checkered flag goes up, Jeff Gordon will win it. Morgan Shepard for second, Ricky Craven third, Davey Allison fourth, and Kenny Wallace finishes fifth. Jeff Gordon shows the way around, driving Jeff Fagan's car number 10. Jeff Gordon, uh, the usual runner of the uh, Baby Ruth Ford on the Bush Grand National Circuit, and as we mentioned, uh, uh, early on in the interview, of course, uh, he will be uh, moving up to Winston Cup next year, driving a uh, Winston Cup car out of the Hendrick Motorsports stable. Climbs out of the car. Tonight's winner of the Top Dog Invitational, Jeff Gordon, ladies and gentlemen. Jeff is down there and he's in victory lane with Stu Lord. Thanks, Peter. Jeff, you're showing your uh, quite a charger out there against the uh, the older guys. Well, I tell you, these guys they worked hard, like I said before, back in the garage. The car was loose. Everybody's a little bit loose, but I tell you, they really got this thing working well. And it took a little while for me to get used to these type of cars. And uh, you know, you don't have to use near as much brake. And, and I tell you, they're just a fun car to drive, and I really enjoyed it. I just really got to thank Jeff and, and his whole family and everybody. And uh, they, they're the ones that deserve this. I hope they go out and win this thing because they got a good car and uh, hopefully they can get to the front. You're the leading rookie in the... No, you were the rookie champion. Jeff Fagan is our leading rookie in the Pro Stock. Doing a fantastic job this year. You can see by the guy that you just drove the reason why. He's a heck of a driver and you did a great job and we're just uh, proud. We hope to have you back here in another Top Gun, uh, Top Dog. I hope I am. I tell you, I, I just like to thank Matt Tools. I know they put all this on. 
thank all the fans out here because uh, I tell you, it's great to get a full, jam-packed crowd like this when uh, guys like Davey Allison, Kenny Wallace, and the rest of us guys come out here. We just, we really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed meeting all the fans and signing autographs and being able to drive these cars. It was a lot of fun. Thank you very much. Well, take the success with you tonight. Take it up to NHIS this weekend and have yourself a heck of a weekend. Oh, I will. I tell you, we're, we've really got a good team right now and a strong car. And, uh, this is one of our better tracks, but I think this weekend we're going to be in pretty good shape. Thanks a lot. Thanks an awful lot, Joe. The, uh, from the management of the USA Speedway, from the fans, again, thanks very much. I just like to say one more thing. I, I would really like to dedicate this to Jeff Fagan and his whole crew and fam because they, they worked hard. They were sweating back there, I'll tell you, between that practice and the, and the race. And I just really like to dedicate this to them because they had a lot of guts to be able to put somebody. They really didn't know who, you know, who I was and, and really what I could do. And they put me in it, and that took a lot of guts because we could have thrown some race cars up tonight, and we didn't. We come out a winner, so I'd just like to dedicate this to them. Thank you very much, Jeff. A couple of young charges out here in the world today. Jeff Bagan, Jeff Gordon.